what do we do in accounting if we have a non-current asset and the value of that asset has changed quite significantly since the acquisition date of the asset? Remember when we bought the asset, we capitalized all the costs associated with the acquisition of that asset and which will enable us to use the asset for the purpose that we've acquired that asset. But now let's say that we have bought property five years ago at 2 million rand. And if we would like to sell that property now, we can easily get 3.5 million rand for that very same property that we have paid 2 million rand for, if we should be sell it. Now, we, have show, we are showing that property in our books at 2 million rand. Now, do you think that our financial statements, our total asset value, it's a fair reflection of the actual value or the actual worth of the assets of the entity. Well, now, obviously not, because what do we apply? We apply the historical cost basis, and that is the amount that we've paid. So we've paid 2 million rand for that property. However, the value of that property is now 3.5 million rand. So what do we do now? We say that our financial statements is obviously not a fair reflection of our value of our assets. What do we do? Well, we're going to revalue our asset now. Now, remember, we have property in our books, and the balance of that property is the original acquisition date. At the original acquisition date was 2 million rand. The actual value of the property is now 3.5 million. So it is very clear that we need a 1.5 million debit in this account in order to change the 2 million to a 3.5 million. Now for that purpose, we are going to create a so-called revaluation reserve. And the credit side of that entry will go to the revaluation reserve account. Now obviously our assets is going to increase, but what is this revaluation reserve now? At the end of the year, we're going to post this revaluation reserve as part of equity. Our next uh, topic is going to be IS1, which is the disclosure of certain items in the income statement and in the statement of financial position. And you will see that we are going to disclose this 1.5 million in both the statement of changes in equity as well as in the statement of other comprehensive income which forms part of the income statement we're going to show that there so it doesn't matter income equity uh, reserve equity so the, the the net impact is that our reserves or our equity figure is going to change with 1.5 million as well